So we will be looking at the next two figures, uh, one chart for babies with no neurotoxicity and a separate chart for babies with neurotoxicity. So this makes it a very positive action because the doctor has to look at the neurotoxicity risk factors and it will not be missed for any reason. Intensive phototherapy is recommended at the total serum bilirubin thresholds in the charts on the basis of gestational age. So you have separate lines for gestational age based in the previous. The preterm babies were put in the high risk and hyperbilirubinemia neurotoxicity risk factors determine which chart you use and the age of the infant is ours is on the chart. So this is the new chart for babies without neurotoxicity risk factors. You have different lines for 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 and more than 40. In this aspect, it's better than the NICE guidelines because the NICE guidelines clubs all the babies about 38 weeks in one go. And so it ends up over treating some of the relatively uh, or under treating some of the 38, 39 weekers. So this is a very positive change for two reasons. As I mentioned, you are clearly differentiating the neurotoxicity risk factors by using a totally different chart. So if you're using the wrong chart, then God help you. A comparison of the previous chart which was uh, used and uh, this is the high risk, medium risk and low risk. Obviously, uh, we were clubbing the premature babies uh, and the term babies with uh, neurotoxicity risk factors according to the level. And uh, this is more clear cut and as we can see here, the treatment thresholds overall are not much different. So it won't make a huge difference. Of course, it makes it safer for the smaller babies where you start the treatment at a lower threshold and also it may reduce uh, over treatment in the uh, slightly bigger babies as the chart keeps going up with the gestation. So this is the chart with one or more hyperbilirubinemia risk factors which we defined earlier. You may need to consider measuring the serum albumin at this stage and also to look at blood group DAT and uh, G6PD. Of course if you are sending the newborn screening you don't need to necessarily repeat the G6PD test because uh, it wouldn't change your approach to treatment. Where there is a surprise element, the jaundice comes suddenly, you may have to do that. And uh, of course, I mean, monitoring is careful, important. This part we already covered previously. So the infants born at more than 38 weeks are grouped together in the figure three. So you can see here that you don't have 39 and 40 separately all are together. So even though their treatment thresholds are different, there is no clear evidence that the neurotoxicity happens at a higher level for the more mature baby. So it's better to be safe and club them together. The direct bilirubin or conjugated bilirubin should not be detected from the total serum bilirubin when using the phototherapy chart and home phototherapy is considered in some situations. There is a separate section on home phototherapy, but I'm not discussing in detail because in